Christoph, you say, I know absolutely that I'm not a robot, but is it possible to create artificial an artificial intelligence invention who would feel the same way you do, who would be shocked at some point in, in its artificial life? That, of course, is it's exactly the plot line of Blade Runner, where Rachel herself... We're going to get to that. Okay, so. Yes, yes. But it, so, so is it possible now? Is that something that well, you could see Well, certainly not now, happening? today. But in, is it in principle possible? I don't know. The question is, does that violate something about a theory of consciousness? I don't know. It's certainly it's conceivable, and certainly it's a very interesting uh, plot line. But let me just return to the most famous deduction in Western history, which is the French philosopher, the sort of the grandfather of science, René Descartes, in 1632. I think, saying, therefore, I am. Yes, and that's exactly <laughs> what, what, what he means. I can doubt everything. I can doubt maybe there's a deceiver who sort of who, who makes me deceive that the, about the detailed shape I look or what exactly I experience. But that I have experiences is beyond any doubt. That I wake up even in the middle of a hotel room. I just arrive in New York. I'm discombobulated for, because of jet lag. I wake up. It's dark. But I have already some feeling. I know I'm here. I know it exists. That is uh, undeniable, and that cannot be faked. So that is ultimately what consciousness reduces to, a feeling.